Very good. So um, I want to uh, express my appreciation for um, uh, those who are helping to remind me of uh, various uh, various uh, necessities. And um, uh, one of them was, was the, the washroom break. The other is, um, I was pointed out that um, on my new, having switched computers, perhaps it would be possible for me to um, make use of those larger fonts on this computer, those fonts we had in use yesterday. So I've, I've uh, increased my font size um, to hopefully allow for easier, uh, uh, easier sighting from the audience. Um, let me know if it's still too small, and I'd be glad to increase it yet further. Okay. Um, uh, so within um, the next few minutes, what I'd like to do is to make use of the statistics that we built up to, um, in, in terms of, of um, some other aspects of reporting. So the first thing I'd like to do is to add a, uh, a data set, um, which, uh, which depends on them. Uh, we noted that data sets uh, can be used to collect information on predefined schedules or on ad hoc schedules. And um, here we're going to drag in a data set uh, such that we can um, uh, such that we can record uh, some of those statistics. So if we scroll down in this palette to the analysis area, and again, um, it's possible that um, some of you may have to uh, enable uh, enable that area. Um, uh, when I when I had it on the uh, larger screen before, um, or the larger uh, with less uh, close screen real estate, there's a little thing. Uh, here we go, palettes where you can enable them. So make sure the analysis one is is checked. And I'd like to drag in a data set. Okay. And um, let's have this. Um, called, um, you know, uh, poverty, um, you know, uh, count in poverty uh, DS, okay? Um, so this will be a data set. It'll be making use of that statistic which we defined uh, to record the information. And once recorded, that information can then be perused interactively or typically more useful exported to a file or database. Um, okay, so, so with this selected, um, uh, we, we can choose sort of what we want to record. And there's a couple different ways we can record things. Here we're going to have time as the axis value. Normally we, we want that. And for the vertical axis value, we're going to use a, we're going to use a statistic, okay? So what I'd like you to do is, is type this dot population. Excuse me, this dot people. Excuse me, it's called people here. You could actually just type people. It would by implicitly be this. I'm just trying to make it clear what, what we're, um, it's, it's within us. People dot, and you'll notice now if you do control space there, there's a lot of different um, things you can do. You can actually ask for an average here over some field. You can ask for a max or a min over some field, of sums, et cetera. So in short, you could actually uh, request statistics uh, right here. But one of the most important things is that you'll notice available here are these things that say like fraction male, fraction female, count females, count infectives, count in poverty. Where did those come from? Are those built in any logic things? No, those are our statistics. So once we define statistic associated with the population, it becomes available for us programmatically as well. That is, we can, we can call that as a method, and it will return back the count. Okay? So here we're going to uh, click on count in poverty. Okay? Um, and uh, we'll have it keep up to um, 1,000 latest samples, and we'll update it every time unit. Okay? Update data automatically every day. Um, can people see that okay or do you need the magnifier? Okay. Um, so here in the data set, we're using time, we're recording everything that time in X way, recording the time associated with it. For each time it samples, it's going to be sampling 
it's going to be sampling periodically. And each time it samples, it's going to record a sample that consists of a pair of values. The first of the pair is going to be time, and the second of the pair is going to be the value of the time property at that time. How frequently is it going to do it? It's going to do it every one time in it. So we're going to keep up to a thousand. We have not found this. So this has little bearing on the computational performance of the model. You can keep a hundred, up to 100,000 samples. It, with today's computer sizes, it, it shouldn't be an undue burden. Okay. As long as this is in the global in, 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 in Maine. Okay. Uh, at least then that's been my experience. Um, okay. So, uh, do people need more time on this? Should we? Let, let, let's run this. Obviously, we could do this for every, um, every different statistic as well. But. Um, we might as well just show it for one. The opportunity cost uh, is, is too high to, to go on. And so here we are, uh, count and poverty DS, and we could click on this, and what we see is, is a count over time of those in poverty. Right? So here we've, we've taken a data set that we had defined previously associated with the population. We called it, oh, excuse me, a, a statistic we've defined for the population. We, we now, um, uh, we have a data set that depends on it and samples it periodically. And we can make use of that data and, for example, copy it um, for ad hoc export. I should note, al note also that if you look in this um, as people population, you'll notice that um, there's um, a bunch of data there. If we were to run this uh, forward um, long enough, it's, it, this now gives us the final statistics, which is sometimes, uh, sometimes useful. Okay, so, so we have this data set now, which we've defined, and we've seen how the data set can make use of the uh, statistics.